Hey y'all, happy Monday. So we are in November. It is November 1st, which is crazy. Next week, Caleb turns one. Also crazy. So we're, you know, pulling things together for birthday party this week. So Saturday we got finished with um, happy healthy holidays. And I got home and started making my list for the birthday party next week. So, it's um it's busy, but it's wonderful. But how in the world is he a year old? He's also just grown. By the third time they they come out, just gone. I don't know that he was ever a baby. But anyway, um, November of course we um are all thinking about thankfulness and Thanksgiving and what we're thankful for and all of those standard things. But I want to look at it a little bit differently this month. Of course, I still want to talk about Thanksgiving and gratitude and things we're thankful for. But I want to look at it more in the light of um, <laughs> gratitude and Thanksgiving um, constant in the on the hard days when we're not really thinking about oh, I should be thankful, <laughs> or um, Thanksgiving in the kingdom, and how that really is a different perspective from any other group of people, any anyone else on the face of the earth. There, there, if you're not a believer, and by that I mean follower of Jesus Christ, then you have no idea what it feels like to have something um, that can't be taken away from you. That is yours no matter what. And re regardless of what kind of chaos is going on. Regardless of what kind of just ugh, all the things at one time is going on. That we have um, we have something to be grateful for. And not just some things to be thankful for. But we have something to be thankful for. And of course, you know as well as I know that our perspective changes everything. That what we focus on, what we think about, determines our outlook. It determines our attitude. And so, this month we're going to read scriptures about things that Jesus has done for us. Um, and what that means in Thanksgiving on the hard days. So, um, the first one that I want to read about is Psalm 92 4 and this I have a new jam I have a new praise jam um, and it if you haven't listened to Charity Gales uh, you have made me glad I don't even know how I came up with my phone Charity Gale you have made me glad and this is the scripture that that comes from it Psalms 92 and it says um, it is a good and delightful thing to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises with musical accompaniments to your name, O Most High, to show forth your loving kindness in the morning and of your faithfulness by night. With an instrument of ten strings and with a lute and a solemn sound upon the lyre, for you, O Lord, have made me glad your work. Or you have made me glad by your works and the deeds of your hands. I joyfully sing. How great are your doings, O oh Lord. Your thoughts are very deep. So he says, For you, O oh Lord, have made me glad by your works. At the deeds of your hands, I joyfully sing. So today, I want you to think about the great doings of the Lord, what his works are and the deeds of his hands. Um, if you need to, because things are hard right now or there's pressing, make a list, write down things that the Lord has done, that you know he has done. Go back to your Ebenezer's, go back to your altars and remember the things that he has done for you. Remember where he's brought you from. Remember where he's been faithful. It says that you, O oh Lord, have made me glad. You have made me glad. And to make is to cause to exist. 
And so it's nothing else, Lord. There is no other thing that has made me glad that you, God, have caused me to be. You have made gladness to exist in me. And so, for you, O oh Lord, have made me glad by your works and at the deeds of your hands, I will joyfully sing. And if you can't think of anything else to be thankful for and to be joyous about, Satan does not rule over you any longer. <laughs> And that may be something that we can dive into a little bit more this month and that, you know, Satan keeps trying to press you down and he keeps trying to bring oppression and he keeps bombarding you with thoughts. Um, yesterday's live, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that phrase, but tell him, why do you look for the living among the dead? Why are you looking for somebody that's going to bite that bait? I'm dead to you, Satan. I'm dead to you. The life that I now live, I live in Christ Jesus who loved me and gave himself for me. All right, y'all. Oh, tomorrow night is Women in the Word, 730 online on the ministry Facebook page. And I will see you then. Bye, y'all.